How's everyone doing today? <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Witchcast Gear Unboxing for April. Ash is here. I certainly am. And so uh, is Jodie Foster. Uh, I thought I'd burn that shit. This is like, happy birthday, you old fart. Thank you, EP. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be 33 tomorrow. Jason's asking how the birthday weekend was going. Yesterday, we had the party. It was great. Had a really, really fun time. Had a lot of friends over. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to a video game museum at the beginning, which I just changed locations. I much prefer the bigger location as well. And it had air con. It's not been, like, super hot. The last time we went, it was sweltering. I still need to go. Well, get your ass over here, EP, and we'll take you. Yeah. And then we can have a viewing party of this. And this is my response. You haven't seen the film. No. You will be watching the film shortly. No. Yes, you will. Shortly. I refuse. So you'll understand why it changed my life. It is not a masterpiece of cinema. I mean, I'm not going to lie, because the message is kind of bad, because Matthew McConaughey is a theologian, and she's a strong female scientist, and she's like, fuck religion. Anyway, witch casket. <laughs> Everyone looking forward to witch casket? Hmm? <laughs> hmm? If you are uh, new here, we do these every month, and then I edit it down, put it on YouTube, and you can all see that with uh, funny bits I did in. Okay. Kevin! Get off the side of my face! Oh my god! This is here too. Oh. He's brought a ball along with him. Do you want me to open it, or do you want to open it? Would you love to open my box? I'd love to open your box, yes. Disgusting! Tell Jodie. Tell Jodie you want to open her box. I, I really don't. Tell Jodie you I want really to open I really don't. Tell I really would like her to go. Tell Please, no, no, tell no. Jody. no. Yeah, so, witch casket. <laughs> We've been doing these, I think, apart from one month, every single month mm -hmm. since last June, I think it was. There's a subscription box service where every month they can send you a witchy, par mm. a pagan, paraphernalia, that sort of thing. Mm. So if you like wiki art, if you like pagan there's stuff. There's many, many forms of the craft. If you just like Halloween stuff and collecting the stuff for Halloween, then this is a box for you. It's well worth it. Yeah. No. It's not sponsored, by the way. This just comes highly regarded by yeah. us. <laughs> Obviously, we know last month wasn't my favourite because it was very crafty, which is... Very like... me-coded. Yeah. So, for me, the only way is up. <laughs> Let's open it up then, shall we? I don't actually know what the theme is this month. I haven't been spoiled. No, I can't remember either. Ooh, high power. Ooh. Ooh, April 2024. It's black and white as well again now. Look yeah. at the camera, it's all much better now, doesn't it? No, know, because you're not in it. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> out of my house. Well, I turned the autofocus off for the first time in about two months this time. <laughs> so you can actually read things that are actually legible. Hello, beautiful witches. Thank you for subscribing to April's Witch Casket. Here is an entire casket to help you increase the power of your magic. Ooh. Please remember to read through this pamphlet so you can familiarize yourself with this month's items and any necessary safety information. Once again, we've been awed by your creative magical pictures of your witch casket items this past month. Please continue to tag your social media posts with hashtag witchcasket Which we so we can find and share them. It means the world to us to see all the love and positivity surrounding witchcasket. We feel so appreciated. Thank you. We've already excitedly created May's witchcasket and we can't wait for you to see what, all what we've been working on. Until next time, be well, Deb and Ella. Like I said, last month wasn't my favourite, so the only way is up. <laughs> For you and me now. That same clip is going to be spammed so much in the video. Okay, so we'll start off with this month's manifestation card and the artwork. That's not my favourite. I'm going to say that now. I like the simplicity of the line work. Yeah. I think it very much fits in regards to this month's theme and this month's artwork as well. Uh, the hands are very reminiscent of my favourite pin that they did. I like it. I really like it. I like the simplicity of it. Yeah, like I said, it if, exists. If, yeah. yeah, if we're going to call it out of ten, we're going to say it's a five. It's there. It's it's good. It's all right. I'm a bit lower than that for myself. Yeah. I feel like it's a bit of a step back compared to last month's one. Hmm. But yeah, I've put it a little bit closer to the camera so you can see. I love the fact that this time he's finally covering his face and not mine. I can change that. <laughs> Bloody well, will not. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that's the manifestations card, and on the back it's got a couple of like goal things. If yeah. you are into manifestations, that's what it looks like on the back. Okay, so do you want to do the next one? 
I'll do the spell. An empowerment spell powder kit. Ooh, contains powder. everything you need to make a magical spell powder for empowerment. <laughs> Look at the back of the instructions card. Very reminiscent of the pin it, that you like. Yeah, it really is. And again, very simple line work. I like it. I like the simplicity of it. Let's read what it says. Create magical powder to use in spells and rituals for your empowerment. You will need yarrow, bay leaves. I know that because I cook with them. I still think when, when I go back on the edit, bay leaves sound like bay leaves. <laughs> you should definitely add bay leaves to witch castle. <laughs> <laughs> and some mint. Grind the above items together into a powder. Do this with intent to empower. This can be a laborious task, but as you work, you will be infusing the herbs with the power of your strong intentions. As you grind and blend the powder, fill this with your magical intent and, and belief and state the following. Nature's power, I add to thee, powder potent as can be, attracting strength and energy to anything that I degree. Ways to use the powder, blowing. Uh. Place the powder on the palm of your hand and blow it into the air with intent. Drawing. You can draw with your powder to mark out the circle for rituals and sigils. Mm. Dressing. Dress ritual candles, letters, business cards, money, application forms. That could become useful, assume, when we're looking for a house. Mm. Wearing. You can wear your powder like a towel, assuming you're not allergic or sensitive to the ingredients used. A way of taking the magic with you wherever you go. But yeah, that's cool. I think a shot of Bailey's don't see how that could hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Dry your balls with it. No username, JP. Don't dry your balls with it. <laughs> if you're a male and you've used that mint shower gel, it makes things weird down there. I like the mint shower gel. No, it makes things tingle. It's odd. I like the tingle. I think I'll go next. Okay. Oh, okay. We've got... <laughs> is that it is a quote? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about those. And it's quote 69. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So we've got a, oh, I can't pronounce this, hematite? That's the wrong answer. I can't believe it. Believe hematite. That. Hematite, power pendant. Carry this magical vibrations of hematite with you to empower. Hematite helps promote self-confidence, self-esteem, mental clarity, strength, times of stress, and anxiety. That's pretty. It is. It's, it's like a, a giant pencil nib. It's a very odd color. It's iron. Oh, is it? Yes, it's a form of iron. Oh, okay. It's nice. Oh, for a, for a second I thought it had like inscriptions on it. It's just like the wear on the wire. Wear on the wire, the wear on the stone even. I mean, that's a hematite necklace. That would go with a lot of outfits, I think, that you would have as well. Yes. If you wanted to wear that one day, yes, that would probably would. go with a lot of your outfits. Because most of your wardrobe is grey or black. Or off black. <laughs> it's like my the obsidian one that I had for ages that I've yeah. lost. But it's like a lighter version of it. I have no idea where all your necklaces have gone. I know you put them in I've something. I've got and... some of them, but the ones that I had at the start, like that obsidian one I mentioned in the February one, can't find it. All right. Mm. Power Up Hair Blend. Magical blend of uh, Century, uh, Blue Cahosh, and Red Carnation. I'm probably butchered those uh, spellings. Mm. But use this magical hair blend to add power to any spell or ritual. Use to dress or circle candles. Add to charm bags and spell jars or to use in ritual baths, etc. I'm always cautious. I've always wanted to use them in baths, but I'm always a bit cautious because if they die in stain, that's bad. <laughs> I don't think they would. Mm. Ooh. She's on drugs. Ooh. Smells nice. Mm. I didn't be able to see it on the camera, but oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Looks like that inside. Like, no, uh, unfortunately, I definitely can't use those in baths because it, it clogs the plug. Eh, well, you can use it in other ways as well. Mm -hmm. Use it in spells and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't smell anything. So <laughs> <laughs> Come closer, Tim. You're better to smell it. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. This month's pin. It's got a pentagram and it matches the necklace as well. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. It's got little inscriptions if you go further in. Yeah. Got a little look. moon on it. Little, little stars. That's really pretty. I like this. That is. Like that. It's quite big as well. Good heavens. I think the hands are still winning it for me. Might be my second favourite. I can see that going on your bag straight away. We've got. I like that. I like that there's got little etchings in it and you get closer to it. Not just like a solid, like, grey colour. Right. It's good. Husband, it is. Time. It is your favourite part of the, uh, the video slash stream. Now, the first thing I'm going to say. Opening the scroll. I'm slightly disappointed. Why? I preferred the folded version from last month. Oh, they had the folded one, didn't they? Yeah, I don't know why that one was different now. I preferred the folded version because it went into folders better. And I get the scrolls are more niche and a bit more witchy, but oh God, even Finn can't get in this I'm struggling one. to get into it this week. And that's a massive reason as well why I don't like the scrolls. Empowering incantations. 
I like the simple line work of the art. It's like something that I could draw. It's like something out of someone's actual book of shadows as well. Mm. Spoken words to add power to your magic. Like an arrow come at speed, bring to me what I need. This is my command, what I say shall stand. I charge this spell with energy, what I desire shall come to me. My belief shall not waver, the tide shall turn in my favour. With this spell I decree, as I will it, so mote it be. I am the universe, and the universe is me. It is set in motion, so it shall be. Need a ribbon. Do you know what? That's not a bad... Yeah, actually. Yeah. JP is a really good idea, actually. Like a red ribbon to rock tie around it. Yeah, instead of the... The little sticker. Like, a, it's, an, it's a nice scroll. It's a nice simple one with a nice incantation spell. Yeah, it's something that I will use. But again, I just... I preferred the folded version from last month. You can fold it. You can flatten it and fold it. Yeah, but with that one, you didn't need to. I like that, obviously, the, the art style matches through the entire box as well. Yeah. Faye has matched all the art throughout the box as well. Again, like you said, you know... It's kind of nice. Finn, it's your favourite part? Is it the stone section of the video? Finn's stone section. Whoa. We now have a theme tune. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'll be clipping that and using that way too much. Right, so what we've got this time. We've got clear quartz this time. Yeah. It looks like a block of ice, but obviously it's solid. Yeah, I like clear quartz. Yeah. Clear quartz crystal point. Clear quartz is an amplifying stone that can add power to any spell or ritual. A powerful manifestation tool, crystal points can be used to direct energy into the universe during rituals or crystal healing. So of all the stones I've got, that is my new favourite. You like the crystal one? I like clear quartz and then this is going to sound really really shallow shallow Sharon. <laughs> yeah this is going to sound really shallow i think clear quartz looks expensive does it i think it does Goosey, yeah. you want to come say hello hello come on come on sit down hello there we go you say hello to everyone <laughs> <laughs> It's like, no, give me the ball, 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 give me the ball. That's what we're doing. He's a good boy. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm excited now because in the box is some big stuff and we always like big stuff. We've got some power amulets Ooh. in a big bag as well. And they've got a little booklet. Do you want to have the booklet for me? So then in the big bag, we've got a smaller bag. I like that it's a circular bag this time as well. Very medieval. So we've got a little cactus symbol. Okay. A little coins that have all got little designs on them. The cactus, used for using spells for protection and banishing. In divination, let go of what does not serve. It could be that you are not protecting yourself or your energy lately, so set healthy boundaries and stick to them. I used to have a cactus. His name was Steve, and one of my old roommates pilfered him when we were all moving out. <gasps> Steve got cactus snapped. He's probably dead now. No, we can't <laughs> kill Steve. <laughs> I've got like a little laurel. Wheat. Uh, harvesting what you desire, abundance and wealth. In divination, look at your circumstances in your life where you are not yielding the results you deserve and make changes to ensure you are valued and rewarded for your efforts. We've got an eye. The eye, intuition, knowing the truth and divination. This amulet suggests that you already know the answers, so trust yourself and listen to your intuition. We've got a sun. The sun, joy, rebirth and transformation. It's time to start afresh or make some changes that you can live in your life in a way that brings you joy. It is not selfish to live a joyous life, so alter your path according to your desires. Waves. The ocean. Calmness, confidence, and power. In divination, know your own power. The ocean can be calm at times, but we don't ever lose sight of how powerful it can be. Are you losing sight of your own power? It's time to reclaim it. And I'm assuming last one is the apple. And finally, we have the pear. No. <laughs> it's time to heal. This amulet speaks of heart healing and recovery. It's time to show some self-love, so treat yourself kindly. So is that big bag just got that little one in it, or is there more in it? Because that seems a bit... Nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Yeah, that's it. Huh, okay. 
Not only can these amulets be carried with you as a magical charm, but they have other uses too. In Spellcraft, these powerful amulets can be used to set intentions during spells and rituals. You can add them to your charm bags or rituals for extra power. In Divination, either draw one of the amulets from your pouch to find out what your needs, focus, or you can tell the amulets and read these from your land, which is face up. It's oh, yeah. good. It's very different. I do like it. I like kind of like the whole kind of like tarot runes. Sort of I'm kind of a like little divination stuff. disappointed at the size. Just because it's a very big bag and like it looked like we were getting something really big. So that's the only thing I've got to say negatively about it. It was just like, oh, okay. Like that bag, you think there was something big inside, you know. They're, they're wonderful. I um, really like them. I'm assuming you can maybe put more things in there to go with them. Maybe. 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 To power them up. Like gems or like uh, other yeah, rooms. I suppose that could be something. Um, something like that. But again, I just, I think it's just a bit odd. All right. You next? So, yeah. So Got a little ribbon, hang on, show the yeah. ribbon, show the ribbon. Ta-da! So a little gift wrap present. Going back to the scrolls, yeah. I kind of wish that they had that instead, in, like instead of wrapped the, up, instead of the plastic. Like JP yeah, because like you said, those things are really hard to get off, and if you pull too hard, you're ripping it in half. So let's have a look then. I wonder what this is. Tote bag maybe. Oh, it's a map. Oh, it's like a new tarot thingy. Is oh. it a divination board thingy? Yeah, it's a divination cloth. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. So again, the artwork, very, very fitting. It's given me a little bit of Blair Witch Project, a little bit. It's a little bit. Is. I know that that's like complete bullshit, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's Blair a treasure Witch. map. If Ash is following it, it might be able to get rid of him for a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looks like. That's... It's really nice. I mean, you could use it as a board, or like yeah. I said in, in um, February's one, you could attach your pins to it, make it like a pin board thing. Yeah. One thing it definitely needs, and something that we need to buy because we have a green screen, is we need a steamer. Yeah, we need a steamer. Mm. Yeah, that's really cool. That is. It's really nice. I like that. That that could quite easily sit on top of my fireplace. I see it as like being like the new like board for like tarot so, time. Mm. So I'm really sad because we're down to the last item already. I feel like we blasted past it as well. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm gonna, I want to do the last one this time. All right. You ne you always get the last one. Yeah, well, it's my box. But, uh, but me. <laughs> Fine. My birthday tomorrow. Fine, because it's your birthday. Tomorrow, as we record this. So, so it's it'll, wood. It's a wood box. Ooh. It's got dividers in it as well. It's where you can keep, like, your, your witchy possessions, like gems and stuff. Yeah, it's like a few potions and stuff like that. That is very, very cool. And you... it's got little things on the back, so you can hang it up if you mm. wanted to. But yeah, like a little shelving unit. That is very cool. I love the little stars in the corner. Yeah, they're cool. I do kind of wish there was a like maybe little designs in the actual shelves themselves. Maybe you can paint your own. No. If you're crafty enough, you can paint your own. Maybe. <laughs> they clearly don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's just a personal preference. Yeah. I also kind of wish it was a darker wood. Yeah, kind yeah. of like matches the same colour of wood as the, the moon tray was. Yeah. Well, let me have a look and see what's in the in the booklet about it. Yeah. Hanging curiosity shelf. Because we all need a home for our witchy oddities and curiosities, this adorable shelf was made especially for you with all the love from us. Mm. It's sort of a wood joke here, says EP. Doesn't... Take my breath away. But it's nice. Take my breath away. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> very musical um, it stream. It's like a singing stream, exactly. JP. <laughs> it's nice. I just wish it was a little bit more. Hi, ghost. Hello, world. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, what a musical Only episode. Yes, <laughs> Hello. Hey, Woofer. Good boy. He's, he's been poorly boy this week. He was sick earlier. Oh. So that was April's witch casket. I can't believe it's over already. I feel like we just whizzed through it this mm -hmm. week. <laughs> this month even. For me, this month, it's a three and a half. I was thinking about the same as well. Yeah. I the love necklace the, is my favourite. Yeah. I love the clear quartz. I love the pendant. The new cloth is very nice. I like the shelf. I do wish the shelf was a little bit more intricate. But that's just a personal preference. Well, I'm assuming like if you're more of a creative witch, you can edit it yourself to kind yeah. of fit your own altar, maybe. Mm -hmm. I might get used to paint it or something. 
I can do it. Yeah. What were you thinking? Painting it all black or doing some kind of design on it, maybe? I don't know, just something. Probably put some kind of stain on it to make it darker. Yes, Tim. I like what Tim says. Yeah. I'm, I'm picking up what Tim's putting down. Wasn't like. the best. It was it was fine. It was, it was fine. okay. Yeah. He was I, average. As always, do I feel it was 30 quid wasted? Absolutely no. not. In the whole year that I've had these, never once have I had that thought. Again, there's some that I relate to more, there's some that I don't. It can't they can't all be winners. Yeah. You know, but I like what I see. So overall, it it was good. 3.5 out of 5. It's not bad. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining. We'll see you next month for another Witch Casket. Love you. Bye. <laughs>